the computer. We're good to go. Hey, y'all, Dustin here. Um, Shannon, I appreciate you sharing. Truly do. It was amazing. If y'all give some love and hearts in the chat for Shannon, like that was awesome. It couldn't have came out any better. It couldn't have been, it couldn't have been set up any better than it was um, to even lead into today's training. So I'm going to introduce somebody and I'm going to be mostly muted out. I might jump in a couple of times, but um, this young lady is somebody I've gotten to know very, very well. One of the very first times we got to meet was in San Diego. Uh, I'm thinking five years ago, maybe. And, um, and it was this, this event was for people that wanted to go to a whole nother level. They had to, they had to pay a, a hefty cost to go spend some time with uh, the, some of the leaders of Approve It and go to some extensive trainings. And it was the day that you, you got, I got to meet Samantha. I realized that she is so resilient. She's probably one of the more resilient people I've ever met, meaning that things keep coming. And she keeps solving for X and figuring things out. But she's also somebody I rely on because she's very detail oriented. So I'm always like, she, I, I'm always like, uh, Samantha, can you help me with X? Can you do this for me? Can you can you explain this? Do you have this already done? And she's the one, the ones that likes everything detailly oriented to the point where I'm like, that's more than I needed. Um, but what I asked her to do is to come on and share some of her wisdom, her guidance, um, and her perspective. She is absolutely on fire. Uh, Shannon, you might be training next week, so stay tuned. But she's not only enrolling customers, she's bringing on new promoters. She's, I don't know if she hit All-Star yet since September, but it's either that or she's hitting it any minute. Um, helping develop new, pro new, new promoters, hitting rank three, going for rank four, running to rank five. Um, and she's just an absolute beast and somebody that you get to all learn from. So I'm super excited for you to take over, uh, Samantha and, um, and crush this. So appreciate you being on. I appreciate you being on and I appreciate you, Shannon. And it's, I'm so glad that you said decide because I mean, in large letters on my notes, multiple times, it says, I decided, I decided, I decided. And that's actually recording in progress what I'll, that's what I'll start this with is, uh, I decided, I decided that I need to make the ship that I wanted to make the ship. And I saved the ship because I asked Dustin, you know, he messaged me and he was like, will you, you know, talk about this, 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 and this on the zoom. And one of the things was what was your shift, right? Because I, if you guys know me, I've been drinking and sharing ketones now for almost six years. And I absolutely love the community. I love the business. I love the product. Like I'm here for it. I'm obsessed with it. And I bleed ketones. Um, and from a personal development aspect, it has been completely life-changing for me. From a business development aspect, it has been completely life-changing for me. And the product has been completely life-changing for me as well. But there's multiple times, and I don't know if you guys can relate to this at all or not based on where you're at in your business, but you can even relate to this or correlate this to life. But there were multiple times where I was like, I had really, really high highs and then I had really low lows and then like really high highs. And it was really exciting and momentum was flowing and you're like, I freaking got this. And then like, it feels like two seconds later, it's like, I don't know if I got this. Am I doing it right? Am I saying the right thing? Am I a leader? Am I leading correct? Like, has anybody ever felt those feelings or asked themselves that? Like, am I sharing the right thing? Am I sharing the right way? Am I attracting the right people? Am I talking the right? Am I supporting people okay? Like all these things. And um, so business was up and down for me this entire journey. I think it's been like that for most people in all aspects of life. That's part of it. And I look at it more now. I decided to make a mindset shift and look at things like that as a healthy rhythm because there would be no rhythm without the ups and the downs. And through that, there's this energetic flow that when you find it, approach it, and you energetically connect with that, you truly will find peace, joy, and flow in what you're doing. So giving yourself grace, giving myself grace, that was my shift to answer that first question. Dustin was like, I want you to share what your shift was. So recently I got really sick. This is part of my shift, right? So my mindset went down. It felt like everything in my life went down actually. And I'm so grateful for the fact that we have this business to where I was still able to build, maintain, go up, go down. Because if I worked at a normal job or anything like that, I wouldn't be here today, right? But I had a lot of crazy health challenges and I had to reset my whole life in all aspects, okay? Including my business, including my scheduling, including, I reset my 
prioritize with people, my relationships with people, my times, I realign my relationships, my schedule, my habits. Um, and I also refocused on how much time I was spending on myself and my journey and my personal business, right? Like all me, there was this one more event that hit me real hard when Joseph McClendon was like, I want you to make a list of all the things that like your most important things. And we made all these lists and he was like, most people don't ever add themselves to that list, let alone put themselves on the top when in reality, that's where it should be. So that was a shift for me. I was like, all right, myself, me, this is where it started. My number one priority is myself and my health, my physical, my mental, my spiritual, my emotional health is numero uno. And then it's my kids and my family, right? And then my personal business. And then it's the success of my team in all aspects of growth also, right? So that's where I had to really tap into my core values and make those shifts in order to make sure that I'm giving everything in my life enough time to find joy in what I'm doing with no stress, because I forgot to mention my health challenges came with like, I wasn't allowed to get stressed, right? Anytime I got stressed, it threw me off. So I was like, where can I find joy, peace and flow, energetic flow? So then I decided. I decided what I wanted. I decided what I was going to spend my time on. I decided, I planned, I reverse engineered. I started over again at my business. I hit rank six before I went down. My business went from 52,000 to 18,000 in like three months. Ouch. Okay. Ouchy. <laughs> It was so hard, but I also had 100% confidence in myself that I've done it before. I can do it again. You know what I mean? So finding those places where you can detach stress from the process in all aspects is huge because where your energy goes, your fo or where your focus goes, your energy flows. If you're focusing on those stressors, that's what's going to cultivate. So I started to say, okay, I'm going to work smarter, not harder. I'm going to realign this. I had to make sure my whole schedule was right. Focusing on your plan and your schedule is key here. It's the big bubble around what I'm foundationing right now. Focusing on your plan for you and your success and your schedule and your joy and your happiness and your health and your DMOs for your business and your family and all the things for you that you know, we all know, I would put $5 million per person on the fact that if I were to sit down with you and we had a serious hour long conversation that you personally could come up with a plan that you know would run you to rank whatever the heck rank you wanna to get to, it's all already within you. It's all already within you. So it was already within me and that's what I did. I came up with my business plan again right? For like the 500th time and prove it. I'm like, all right, let's do my new business plan because every day we're a new person. Every day something can change and that's okay. So come up with your plan, your plan, commit to it and believe in it. Belief is like the core key to success with that plan because the plan doesn't even actually matter if you don't believe in it. Because people who are not, or people who are 100% certain will never ever settle for anything less and people who are 100% certain will always take action consciously and subconsciously based on their core beliefs. If you do not believe in the plan, if you do not believe in the system, if you do not believe in whatever the heck you're doing, you're not going to find joy. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to feel confident. And you're not going to find that energetic flow. It just is what it is. So finding that within you and taking that time with yourself and sitting down and writing your plan. Like, what are you going to do when you sign up your promoter, your new promoter, come up with your business, your uh, promoter onboarding plan. It's not like anything fancy. I was like, step one, send them this video teaches them how to get free product. You know, like it's just your plan. There's no right or wrong, but come up with your plan, come up with your plan on everything that you want to do when you get a new customer. Is there something that's amazing that you want to plug them into? Is there something like when you have this system and this plan, it creates this belief and you're like, oh man, I got this. Even though you already know you got this, it's all within here. It's all within here, but there's something different about just putting it in writing and having a plan, just like having a tracker, having a plan, like 
this trucker is my best friend. I love it. Well, not this one. Really, it's the one with the pictures and stuff. Hold on. This one. <gasps> this is my plan. You know what I mean? Like, this is my plan. No matter. I'm like, this is my plan. This is my plan. This is my plan. So those plans, all right? Oh, good. I'm glad I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Failed to plan, plan to fail. Yes. Okay. So made the plan, come up with the plan, believe in the plan. I personally will not, I will refuse. I'm like one of those doggies that puts their feet. Does anyone ever have one of those dogs, especially when they're puppies and you try to walk up and they're like, Skr! like, that's how I am. If I don't believe in the plan that I'm taking action on, where is that going to get you? Unhappy, confused, complacent, not comfortable, uncertain, not confident, right? It's like psychological little micro fails and let, just come up with your plan, commit to it and don't do anything other than your plan, no matter what, no matter how tempting it is. Be like, yeah, but this is my plan and I know it's gonna work and I'm certain it's gonna work. This is my plan, I believe in it 100%. And it's not a right or wrong plan. It's just the plan for you, right? So, okay, the plan, all right. Then I was like, all right, next part of the plan was figuring out where is the one main place that I want to communicate with my customers the most, okay? Because I am personally so tired of having people in every inbox and everywhere and holy crap, I can barely keep up with it type of thing. And again, I don't know if you guys can, I see lots of head nods, so I know you guys can relate. It's just like, I don't even know where to go sometimes. And then I've got lists and notebooks and digital lists and Facebook inbox and this inbox and that inbox and all the inboxes. And then they all have different language because all of the freaking platforms work different. And this one, you need to follow this one. And this, ugh, so many things. I was overwhelmed going back into it. All right. This is like my reset. So I was like, all right, where do I want to talk to my people the most? So Always first things first, when you're coming up with a plan, first thing to think about is, have you done this before in the past and found success? If yes, identify those things that you've done before that you found success. If no, how many people do you know and how, or actually reach out to the people that you know that have found success in these areas and ask them how to do it. Okay. So that's what I did. I said, okay, have I found success in this area? Yes. I've done group chats. I love group chat. So I re-engaged my customer group chat. My customer group chat has like 120 people in it right now. It's so amazing. Might not be for everybody and that's okay. Remember, there's no right or wrong. This is just my plan. It's what's working for me. So I have my customer group chat and I'm like, I am going to get everybody into my customer group chat. And I did it on Facebook because that is where I was getting the majority of my clientele. The majority of my customers are coming from Facebook. So I want to make it the most simple way for where I'm working the most. So what you guys can do is find where you find the most conversations. Where are you talking to people the most? And then create something around that that's going to work for you guys, all right? The next thing I did was where do I want to put everybody else that, you know, not everybody's a group chat person. Like not everybody likes group chats and that's okay. I don't want to just offer one thing, but I'm big on having two options for like everything. It's this or that, this or that. Do you like this or that? You want this one or that one? That one or this one? Always two. So my second one was my Facebook group because I knew I could go live. I knew I could save replays. I knew I could communicate. I knew I could share my Facebook group stuff into my Facebook group chat or my face. You know, I, it was easy. It was easy for me. I already found success in that. I already did that. So I'm like, this is what I feel confident in. This is my plan. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So I'm going to give you guys a visual really quick. Well, actually I'll give you a visual after, cause I'm going to talk about some more stuff. So long story short, my plan, come up with your plan, focus, decide, be certain, believe in it, put it in writing. That is basically what I just talked about for the last, I don't know, 10, seven minutes. All right. So I, I, I really, I want you guys to take some time with yourself and get out a piece of paper or a notebook and flip through it 5,000 times or make something digital. If that's what you like better, there's literally no right or wrong, but I want you to come up with your plan. And I want you to come up with your detailed like plan for you. Like, how do you want to connect with people? Where do you want to communicate with them? Where do you want to 
plug people in. Like, even though you already know it in your brain, I want you to put it in writing so you can actually see it and feel it and be a part of the creation of this plan that you're planning for yourself, that you're committing to, and you're believing in 100%. Okay. So the next thing I, I'm going to tie it all together, but then Dustin was also like, you know, I want you to also talk about how to, uh, how to attract more new people, how to gain, how to grow your following, right? Like, how do you find these people to plug into these like nets that we're creating, right? Like my Facebook group and my Facebook chat are two nets that are like at the bottom and everything else that I'm doing is constantly getting to them to flow. So where am I getting all these people to put into the funnel, to flow into this net into this Facebook group, into this chat, into whatever it is that you're creating. It could be an email blast, right? A lot of people find success with emails. So maybe you're trying to collect their emails and that's your best way of communication. Uh, maybe text messaging. You know, if you haven't heard of text mass messaging and project broadcast, connect with the person you're working with, plug into something like that. Find what works for you. But how can you grow your following? You can't talk to the same people over and over again can talk to the same people over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Eventually it's going to die down. The energy will die down because it's the same people over and over again. It's like walking into the same classroom and people will see your growth over time and they'll buy in over time. But the probability of you growing more, it would happen by filling up the classroom more, right? So how do you grow the, your following? How do you fill that classroom that you're, those people that you're talking to, your audience and your theater, you know what I mean? If you were coming on stage, which is your social media and you're like, this is me and this is what I do and this is my stories and this is my lives. How many people are in that audience in your theater watching you? You have this unlimited, never ending theater in front of you and it's our job to really fill the seats right? But we can't keep just depending on putting on the show and expecting people to show up if we're not out there going and like finding ways to invite people to the show and bring them to the show, bring them to our Facebook page, invite them to our group, invite them to our challenge, invite them to our chat, invite them to whatever you want to create for yourself. So I included some bullet points on how to grow your following. One, post consistently. Post consistently. I know we hear this all the time, but post consistently, consistently, this creates relatability. It creates uh, realism. Like it creates trust. It creates trust. People that show up regularly, they, people will trust them more if they're constantly showing up. So posting consistently, asking a lot of questions, okay, on your, on your um, page, on your feed in the captions, even with a picture, ask a lot of questions, engage with your audience. People are attracted to people that want to engage, not just be a billboard. They, they're they more attracted when you engage in the comments, engage in your posts. I always ask for opinions. I always lead with a question. Like if you look at my Facebook page, there's a lot of my stuff that starts with a question because if they don't read anything else on the entire post, at least they read the question and will most likely comment, which will lead to more engagement, which will also lead to something called organic reach. Because the more people are engaging on your stuff, the more the platforms will push your stuff out to more people. It's artificial intelligence. The more comments you get, the more engagement you get, the more the platforms, little alarms go off and they're like, oh, this person gets engagement. Let's give them more reach. Let's allow them to reach more people. That's literally how it works. So when you create this engagement and ask a lot of questions, it produces a lot of answers and a lot of comments and a lot of engagement. So connect with people, ask questions, all right? Another way to grow your following is reels. Like TikTok was a great mini training for me. And then when reels came, I was like, oh, this is even better. <laughs> I love it. It's the same thing as TikTok. TikTok and reels and Facebook reels, literally the same thing. They all get the same videos literally across the board. Um, reels is fire, right? 
I, I think for me, like finding where you get the most attraction is where you should double down on and live the most. Don't try to hit every platform in every corner of everything. Find right now what the heck is working. Where is there a little fire started that's a little bit bigger than the rest of what you got going on? And say, all right, let's focus on this for the next four days. Let's focus on this for the next month. Let's focus on this and growing this fire versus trying to grow a bunch of fires. So Reels brings in new followers. It is shared by the platforms. By the way, if you ever are curious about like how Facebook or Instagram or Reels or anything works, if you go to their support tab, they keep that super updated and they literally tell you what they want to see on their platform. And if you do it, they literally share your stuff. It's crazy. They, they tell you what they want. They want Reels. They want video. They want connection. They want that. They want live videos. They want your audience to connect with you. So they have also shared reels brings in new organic reach. The more reels you are pumping out, the more your videos are getting in front of new people, not the same people, but new people because Dustin asked me to share on growing your following for new people. So reels, new people, new people, new people. Okay. The next thing, like I said, this will create momentum. It'll create more organic reach. Reach means the platform's pushing your content out. Okay, and then the last one is go live. Live is another great way. And I'm going to give you guys a couple ideas about lives. And I know that you guys, I'm going to say there's some of you that probably like, what is Joseph Sphinker puckered when I said live? That's my favorite word that Joseph McClendon has ever shared. Sphinx, sphincter pucker. All right. When, when I say the word live, but like, it's such a cool, easy, simple, nonchalant way to like go on and be yourself and let people hear your voice and laugh and, and giggle and make mistakes and talk and get to like, get that free flowing energy out. Right. Yes. Oh my gosh. What you're avoiding is most likely where your success lies. 100%. So going live, and I want to give you guys some examples because sometimes it's like go live and then it's like, what about what? But like how, but like who, okay? Three second overview of how to go live. Pick a really catchy topic. I love one that's like, I can't believe I'm doing this or, oh my gosh, my biggest secret for, or this is so exciting, huge news. Like think about somebody having that notification popped up on their screen and they're like, what is it? And they click on it, right? My live videos are crickets. Uh, well, there could be a couple of reasons, but I, I don't know. I can't identify that on here. But what I will say is consistency matters, okay? So when you go live, it matters what you're going live about. And it matters that you are excited. And it matters that you're in good lighting. And it matters. It doesn't have to be a ring light. It could be outside in good lighting. It could be in front of a window in good lighting. But, you know, in general, I want you guys to start thinking about how can you go live and talk to people and share value, not with ketones for a second, just in general. In general, what can you go live about that is not ketones, that is not you walking around like showing things, that is you literally just coming on and talking about something. It could be you sharing something that you learned and how it impacted your life and how it impacted other people, right? It could be a, a podcast that you listen to and you're like, holy crap, I had these takeaways. This was so awesome. Like I had to share this with you guys. And I have my paper right here with my notes because it was so awesome that I wanted to share this somewhere. Thanks for listening. You know what I mean? Like it could be anything. It could be, um, you know, it, when you do things like you could teach someone, like I know Lenan is like bomb at making glitter cups. She made me like this glitter cup with all this custom writing and sparkles and my name on it and all this stuff. Literally. I know that Lenan could go live and be like, I'm going to teach you guys how to make the most basic, simple, easy, the fastest cup I've ever made ever. And I'm going to go live about it. Okay. And let me tell you, even if it's crickets, that just means one, 
I don't even care how many people are on live because way more people watch the replay. Like lots and lots of people love replays. They scroll, then Facebook pushes it out and you're being consistent. Your organic reach is going up. Your live is on the news feed for like a couple of days because people keep commenting on it. And every time they comment it, brings it back up to the top. And then you do this thing. This is like the magic secret sauce that I've been doing for a couple of years that works and tell you, you share that cup video into every freaking cup Facebook group that you can find. You do it slow. Don't get spammy. Don't get reported on Facebook for sharing in 500 groups in three seconds. But how many of those people are going to be like, wow, Lenan, that was such a great cup video. I learned so much. And you know what? I checked out your profile and I see that you have this cute little baby calf and you and your cute baby are feeding your cow and, and then you're drinking this stuff. And I don't even know what's the stuff you're drinking. Or maybe they send you a friend request or maybe they start asking you cup questions and you become cup besties. I have no idea, but this is such a great way to get, again, Grow your following, grow and get new people. Yes, Angie, start doing lives. Oh my God, that's so good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and don't, you don't have to worry about looking professional. Definitely don't. There's lots of ways to do it, okay? Okay, so um, share something you learn, share things, go live. I challenge you guys, just do it. It's so worth it, I promise. Okay, I know, I don't know how much time I have. I'm just gonna keep talking because I have more to talk about. Are you guys okay if I keep talking or should I stop? Okay, cool. Okay, just making sure. All right, so the next thing that I wrote down is create communities. Something that changed the game with my plan, which was part of where am I gonna communicate with these people the most, is creating these communities. And I know that we all have like team chats and Facebook groups and all these things, but again, remember, this is just like, where can you, you can have a different conversation with your customers if the only people in this little chat or whatever is your customers. You can offer your trial packs. You can offer your information, like your things. You know what I mean? So um, I would create reboot chats. Like everybody that was rebooting, everybody that was doing a 10-day challenge, like all these different things that I've done in the past that worked. Facebook groups. I've literally done like 21 day Facebook groups. I did kind of OMAD. I did a fasting group. I did a water challenge. I did literally, I've done so many of them. And I'm like, all right, if I know they worked before in the past and I'm doing this relaunch, this is what I'm going to double down on. So I did. And um, you can also do a telegram chat. Like if you're a telegram user, you can create a telegram chat. I love doing customer Zooms. This is another way to do great community. Like how many times have you ever just ran a Zoom and invited only your customers? Of course, you can invite your promoters too and be like, hey, come on with the intention for them to learn so they can do it too. How, like when's the last time you personally did a Zoom just for your customers to say, hey, I just want to jump on. I'm going to bring on a special guest. Sometimes I bring on a special guest. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's like, I'm going to do a keto overview, ketone overview maximize fat loss, ask as many questions as you want. We're not getting off until we're out of questions type of thing. Like sometimes that is more powerful than any video you can send someone, even a voice memo, because people want to come on and connect with you. So, and then one-on-ones, one-on-ones are still to me most powerful, like connect with your people, get on the phone with them. I'm not saying spend 27 hours, tell them you've got 20 minutes and you wanted to you know, help them with whatever. Right. All right. So, um, create communities. Next thing is focus on people, not the masses. So I put that after create communities because it's still most important. The community is the way you can talk to the masses, but when you focus on people one-on-one, -on -one, that's when you get the real flow, the real energetic connection, the real nitty gritty, you figure out people's goals, you figure out what flavors they're loving. You figure out what will help them the most. There's nothing that can replace organic relationships. Nothing. There's no community chat. There's no Zoom, nothing. So connecting one-on-one -on -one with people is huge. Um, and then last thing that Dustin asked me to talk about was the Dollar Keto Club and like how I start, I just decided again, I was like, I need to go into recruit mode. This is what I wanted to build. This is my goals. This is my tracker sheet. This is the, you know, 
And I went into that mode and then Dollar Keto Club happened. I was talking to Amanda on the phone and I swear we manifested it because we were like, the Dollar Keto Club needs to come. We're manifesting it right now. And literally, I don't even know how soon after it was, the pulse came through and we were like, (laughs) all right, because I was in the mindset and I was so certain and I was like, okay, I have these communities. I have these Facebook chats. I have all these excited customers I have got to plug them into this. And I used the most simple language. I reached out to everybody. I hand connected with everyone who's having, who's literally posting positive feedback in these chats. I scrolled back up to see who was super excited and who was super engaged. And I messaged each and every one of those people individually connected with them on their goals, their success, their excitement, what they wanted to do. And I used language like this. Hey there, hold on, hold on. (laughs) Okay. I don't know, I accidentally can, I, hold on. I accidentally copy and pasted the language they sent me. Here it is, okay. So first things first is I made a post about Freebie Friday that week. I made a post about a trial pack samples that week. I made all different posts on my Facebook. So I'm gonna share with you guys different languages that I used to reach out to people from those different types of posts. Hey there, I just saw your comment on my post about the ketone clean out that I'm doing. There's $31 off 20 servings, $91 off 60 servings, and the ability to join as a promoter right now for $1. I also have 10 pack trials for $65, which sounds best to you and I will send you the link literally got like five promoters from that three of them with mega packs one of them just started drinking ketones in september one of them started drinking ketones this month one's a dude one's a chick literally both of them are in the chat though and you better believe that after i sent that message out someone went in the chat and was like Hey, Samantha, can you send me the link to join as a promoter for $1, please? I lost it. And then someone else in there was like, I want to join for a promoter for $1 too. And I was like, awesome. I'll message you guys. It ends tomorrow night. If anyone else is interested, that's the other language that I wrote down here that I couldn't figure out what it was. That's what it was for. Um, Like that, that simple language. Dollar Keto Club ends tonight for everyone that was interested in joining as a promoter for $1 is what I put in my customer chat. I individually messaged people and said, hey there, just wanted to reach out and make sure you saw I was having a ketone clean out on trial pack bundles because I I don't just, you know, my trial packs are always available, but I, I run specific like four day runs of like, I'm only selling trial packs, Right. So I reach out and let people know that I have them intentionally during this time. And then I also throw in there, and by the way, we've got 60 packs for however many dollars off. I said previously, uh, $91 off. And by the way, the ability to join as a promoter right now for $1. That language worked. It worked great. It's so simple. Here's another one. Oh, Freebie Friday. I reached out to all my Freebie Friday people. Hey there. I saw that you have entered Freebie Friday the last couple of weeks. I hope you're loving the videos and learning so much. Hey, FYI, I'm doing a ketone clean out right now. I have 10 pack trial bundles available as well as $91 off of 60 packs and the ability to join as a promoter for $1, which, what did I say? Which sounds best for you? I will send you the link. I always ask questions, which sounds best for you? So That's how I utilize Dollar Keto Club when it's available. Obviously, that language doesn't always apply, but listen, I'm sure if I plugged in and said, you can join as a promoter right now for $49 and use the same language, it would work just exactly the same because $49 is not that much more than uh, than $1. So it's really about the energy you put into it and your intention that you put behind what exactly is the outcome that you're trying to achieve through the conversation. 
my outcome is either to sell the heck out of these trial bundles that I promised myself I was going to sell $2,000 in trial bundles. That was my goal. And I wasn't going to stop until I did. And with that, I was only going to talk about the 60 for the promoter. It's like these two things. It's just for four days, right? Or five days or whatever, right? It's not permanent, but it's like, why? I like focusing on one thing and letting it flow. It's just how my brain works. So um, someone said, then someone messaged me. I guess this is what I copy and pasted. I should have just took screenshots. Wanted to find out how to join as a promoter and what the requirements are. I have some family members. Oh, this is a girl from the group chat. She messaged me directly. I have some family members that would also like to try, start using the product since they're working so good for me. I figured I may as well earn some free product from what they buy, but I'm not comfortable posting or putting myself out there on social media yet. Let me tell you, this person is posting on social media and crushing it. Um, also, so just know that like, that's, that's what I have written down and what I had on my heart. And I speed, I was like speed typing before I jumped on here, like, cause this is what I wanted to share. This is what I've been doing. This is what, what's worked. It's that focus. It's that plan. It's that belief. It's that fire. It's that desire and making sure that you first and foremost, 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 first and foremost, always put yourself first and your health and your joy and the things that you love to do, because there's no right or wrong in this business. And the only plan that works is the one that you'll stick to and follow and believe in. Oh. Bring some heat. She brings some fire. Um, I just want to tie a little ball on everything and everybody give Samantha a big shout out. Um, her commitment to this process has been just remarkable. And what we've learned is that, you know, like Shannon's building belief in herself. Um, she had to make a decision, but also she she had to the plan that she she went with and committed to is these festivals right that was the plan she committed to and and then now she's she's gonna have to build more out as she's expanding this and she's gonna have to learn more skills now that she's bringing on more promoters she's gonna have to there's more learning that's gonna happen so um i truly love that as samantha knows her and our journey somewhat aligned you know having surgeries and babies and and you know getting sick and all these things she didn't have a baby we're having a baby you know what happens is that if you're if you're wavering in yourself it's really important to, to build your own confidence but it's also what i've learned is that if you're wavering in your plan then um you also you, you it's it, it's as important in some ways as it is as important for some people maybe some others more than other, some more than others that you're that you believe in the plan and so what i would suggest is if you're just relatively new here and digesting this it's one thing maybe your plan is to make facebook your 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 platform and samantha mentioned this earlier you ever want to i'm gonna i'm gonna say one little thing here you want to know the best way to stress somebody out Y'all want to know the number one way to get to stress somebody out. If you have kids, this is something, this is a huge lesson. This is my one parenting tip that I'll ever give in my life. I'll tell that I don't give many, but you want to, you want to, you want to know how to stress somebody out. You ready? Give them more than two options. The simplest way to overwhelm somebody is give them more than two options. So think about that from yourself for, for a minute. Don't think about everybody else. Just think about, like Samantha said, think about that selfishly. If you have seven platforms that you're trying to be on and you haven't mastered one or two. Now, once you've gotten one or two down, like I'm just going to tell you, Samantha can flip over to TikTok and then over to Instagram pretty dang good because she's really got mastered at, she got mastered at social media, right? And so, but master one, build confidence in that because then the, then the, the shifts and changes aren't so overwhelming. But I think that's the most important thing here is that you're you're trying to make yourself comfortable and confident when you're deciding in here. And then, you know, a lot of people, I did a voice memo out. People are like, I just, I feel like I'm talking to the same people. And what I figured out is they were, they were talking to the same people. So like Samantha said, like if you're, if, if, if you're using social media, Shannon couldn't have been any better that she said all these, she decided that she's going to go to festivals. Now, what's interesting is a lot of those people are either following her on social media or will be following her on social media. So she's going to be using both strategies, right? But if you're going to use whatever strategy you're going to use, find ways to get more invested into that, right? Do more reels, more lives, do more festivals. If Shannon wants to get better at events, then she needs to do more of what she's doing. If that makes any sense, scale what you're currently doing and make that bigger than trying to add more new things to do. 
And so, uh, Samantha, I truly, truly appreciate you sharing that out there. Y'all, um, get confidence in your plan each, each week, each day, build confidence in your plan. If you can execute one thing really effectively each day, you will have more success. If you half ass five things a day, um, you will find yourself struggling in two weeks going, what did I do? You, there's no clarity on that. So confidence in your plan, confidence in yourself and confidence in this business will grow you a huge business. So with that said and done, happy, happy Thursday, y'all. I appreciate you, Samantha. This is will be uploaded to YouTube, so it will be recorded. Um, I'm working on how to get that fixed, so it goes right to YouTube. But right now, uh, I have somebody else working on that, to be honest, <laughs> not me. Um, and I'm super grateful for you all. Uh, let's have November, make November a fun month. Um, super cool things. Uh, right now, Samantha actually mentioned something that we might do a little training on next week on. But um, um, Kate and I just talked about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it or not, but uh, it's something that I learned more recently that it can be very valuable for people to bring more value to more people to ultimately build a bigger business. But game on, y'all. Let's have some fun. Um, if you have new promoters, it's time to get them to MVP. We're an MVP factory, y'all. If you're in the process of getting creating new followers, then magnify that. Yeah. If you got five followers doing something, go do more of what you just did to get the five to make it 25 or 505. Does that make sense? Try not to reinvent the wheel here. Cheers, y'all. Good night. Thanks, Samantha. Stop recording.